I think it's one of the top indoor tournaments. It's extremely tough, extremely packed. For me personally, it's a very special tournament. It was even my first ATP 500. Definitely uh, one of the best 500 tournaments that, that we have. We can see uh, year after year that uh, such a huge crowd is coming back. It's always nice to kick off as the first 500 of the season. It's the year's front runner in the ATP World Tour 500 series. That means the slogan Rotterdam Ahoy for the highly competitive ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament. It's an important series. They're very strong and very tough to win. It's obviously getting one of the very tough ones. The crowd that it comes since pretty much first day and uh, it's always packed. So that's, that's something what we as a players really appreciate. I like it a lot here. I have very good memories. Uh, I like the city and I like also the surface, the stadium. When I came for, the, for my first practice and actually I set up the court with Marin Cilic and then I realized that actually it was the last time you know I played here, it was a final with him. I remember that, that year I was wearing uh, the orange shirt so uh, people were liking me much more. It's a great tournament, great venue for the players. Yeah, it's very nice to hear of the players and always get positive feedback. Keeping the place running like clockwork is tournament director Richard Krajcek, possibly the busiest man in tennis. He also coaches Milos Rajonic. The role is great, you know, it's, it's really nice to be involved in tennis like this and uh, I hope I can do this for many more years. We have unbelievable good players, we've got a lot of players who are in form. Ideas of a good tournament is um, a couple of top players and maybe one star, the next gen players and a few Dutch players. That's, that's basically uh, for the last three, two, three years, that's, that's been our focus. Looking good on centre court was Karen Kachinov. The next gen star marked his appearance in Rotterdam by breaking into the top 50 for the first time. There are still so many things to improve because this year I started to play already with much better guys. Uh, all of them, they are higher than me still, so I'm playing higher events and uh, I have to get ready because the season is quite long and every, every tournament you have to be ready 100%, so I have to keep doing my work with my team and yeah, focus on the future. It was left to an experienced hand, though, to guide us around the impressive venue. Joe Wilfred Songa, adored by the Dutch fans, knows what it takes to do well in Rotterdam and was determined this year would be his best yet. I made a, a final, uh, a semi-final also. Um, uh, I have some good memories here, but uh, I wish I'm, I can be able to, to have some more. And uh, no, it's a nice tournament. I like to come here. Uh, for us it's easy, it's close to home and uh, yeah, I always appreciate you to come here. That's the first uh, 500. You have many players, good players here in this tournament. It's always been like this and uh, it's a tournament who is difficult to win. So yeah, it's a good challenge for, for all of us. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, triple action, we're in Delray, Marseille and Rio. And calling Nick Kyrgios, we're with the charismatic Aussie star. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.